they make it clear okay yeah so we'll start what is glasgow comma scale what is the main use of glasgow comma scale as usual put it in the chat box any idea you have why is this tc is used any idea don't be hesitate don't have any sort of hesitation to tell if you're wrong it's okay if you're wrong nobody is perfect i'm not perfect use in neurological examination yeah any other answer to check consciousness of the baby no we don't use gcs to babies okay so is glasgow coma for consciousness level to check consciousness level and neurology neuro assessment to check brain injury yeah brain injury is also good answer for consciousness of the patient to assess the consciousness for stroke patients for any patient it's not mandatory that you should only do this for neurological patients you can do this to with any patient rta road traffic accident so the main aim of this glasgow coma scale is that when a when a person is coming and sitting in front of you you should know consciousness check brain check severity of injury yeah very good so the main aim of this is to assess whether the patient is uh, responsive uh, in eye opening in verbal response in motor response and how severe their consciousness is this is just a consciousness scale so with this consciousness you can just determine how bad the injury is how it has been damaged the patient right so this glasgow coma scale starts with eye opening first so eye opening with eye opening we go for like if the eye opening and closing is spontaneous we give the patient four marks at the to sound for example i will be telling the patient to open your eyes close your eyes if i'm following if the patient is following the commands i'll give three points to pressure if i am giving some stimulus and telling the patient to open the eyes if that is happening properly i give two marks if nothing is happening if i try all these nothing is happening one mark one point okay one point for none two point for pressure three point for sound four point for spontaneous understood eye opening okay so verbal response is like i i should start conversating with the patient and with that repeat please i should repeat eye opening okay eye opening is like if the patient is not giving any sort of response whatever you know uh, the patient is not giving any sort of response zero that is uh, one sorry not zero none means one point to pressure is two point to any sort of sound or command is three point if the patient himself is doing it spontaneously opening and closing the eyes you get four points okay already known opening spontaneous spontaneously means uh, first you will observe the patient when when the patient is coming inside he or she is like open your eyes open close your eyes close this is command understood any other doubt you understood we'll move on to verbal response okay so verbal response starts with none none is like the patient is not even talking you give one one point if the patient is just responding with sounds you had your dinner yes or mm, mm -hmm, like that sounds you give two points if the patient is responding with words three points if the patient is responding with confused words words as in have you had your dinner yes no that's it confused means like the patient will be confused to form a sentence forming a sentence is very difficult for them that is confused and then uh, you give five points if the patient is completely oriented and he or she is responding properly giving the proper responses whereas moving on to motor response it starts from one there is no or we'll go from above obvious command is six obvious command as in i'll tell the patient to uh, do this action have doubt what if the patient is dumb he can't speak from his birth and he is a stroke patient how can we give score for verbal yeah we have separate questionnaires for differently able people we have separate questionnaires for uh, handicapped people for deaf and dumb as well we won't be using this there is something else if you want me to teach that i'll look to it and maybe next class we'll do okay so yeah 
let me move on to motor response so obey's command is six points like i'll tell the patient to do this action for 10 times he's doing she is doing normal six points localizing that is um, at certain points he is doing certain regions he is not doing if i am telling him to do or uh, localizing a particular region and telling him to do he is performing the action i give him five points normal abnormal flexion four points abnormal sorry normal flexion four points abnormal flexion flexion three points extension is also abnormal or it can be completely extended all the limbs are extended means two points no nothing no response at all this one point understood nobody understood what is abnormal flexion and extension mean abnormal flexion is like uh, the patient is completely in flexed position if the patient is just sitting like this you are telling the patient to uh, extend your arm and he is still like what is that he is unable to extend right he is completely flexed that is abnormal flexion and the same with extension if the patient is completely extended and none is like no movements okay so with this score is vcs is used in pediatrics no it is not used it is not used in pediatrics how can a baby uh, respond to you with words or without confusion with a complete orientation a baby cannot respond right it might be used in some uh, children pediatric children where they can respond not in babies it it can be done with people who can talk 5 years and above maybe those students can, those children can talk right so we can do this in them and then the scoring goes like Uh, 3 to 8 is severe 9 to 12 is moderate does uh, one minute 13 to 15 is mild so the person is getting scores from 13 to 15 which is mild 9 to 12 which is moderate 3 to 8 means severe the severe tbi or severe loss of consciousness same way moderate tbi moderate loss of consciousness same with mild does abnormal flexion extension follow flexion extension synergy yeah yeah Yeah, that that is also a part here. It might follow. So, you guys, understood GCS? Okay. So, I hope I was clear, and it was also short and easy to understand. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, these short classes will help you guys to. understand everything easily because going for one hour or two hour lecture nobody will no but no human brain will listen after half an hour everyone needs a break after 30 minutes right so i have i, I hope i have completed in between 30 minutes before 30 minutes i have finished the topic both the topics so what topic next do you want do you guys want class by tomorrow monday because yesterday i couldn't keep the class tomorrow evening or night or any time anybody want morning also is okay yes evening or night okay whoever can join can join in the evening or night morning some some people might be busy so what topic do you want tomorrow want for tomorrow neurological examination fatigue assessment scale spinal cord injury berg balance scale physiotherapy management of tbi <clears throat> okay mm. is it left for me to choose anything i want if i want to choose i will choose spinal cord injury that is a interesting topic pt management in cerebral palsy is very interesting hydrocephalus we have already finished the topic in hydrocephalus right you can give some topics so that we could select okay then i'll give you some topics in whatsapp i'll start a poll you guys answer it okay i'll note down these also anyways so we'll meet by tomorrow now i'll open the poll kindly answer it can you share whatsapp link yeah just a minute i'll share it
here is the link for the whatsapp group people who are interested can join i think most of you are in the group already are you going to post this online class in youtube if so please do post will refer whenever we get doubt yeah this will be posted right uh, dr nikita will this be posted can you take class on neurological approaches okay we'll do that we'll start with ndt and all it is interesting topic those are interesting topics uh dr nikita i think maybe she would have recorded she will post it on youtube definitely so someone asked for the group uh, whatsapp link here's the link kindly join so see you guys tomorrow what's tomorrow's topic i'll ask in the whatsapp you put the poll based on the poll bell desire okay so thank you guys for listening bye bye